guys, so I have another Decadent case update. This first case is a Sailor Moon Crystal little bling waterfall case. And the customer was really patient because it took me forever to get her base case. <laughs> but it, I think it turned out really pretty. And I really like these images, so yeah. It turned out really cool. This next case is one of two. It's for a returning customer from the UK. She's bought a high cue case from me before. This time she bought Crow, and then the other one I'll show you in a second is Oikawa. But she requested the black sparkle case and the black pieces, and I think it looks really cool. And then I made her this little cat Crow, and she said she liked it, so I put it on the case, and I think he's cute. So I made him out of polymer clay. So yeah, and then I made these pieces. So yeah, I think it's really cute. And then I added little black angel wings. <laughs> This next case is for the same customer, and she got an Oikawa case, and I think it turned out really cool and pretty, and she requested like a galaxy theme piece, or er, <laughs> theme, so that's what I use, I use moon stars and the little planet, so yeah, I think it's really pretty. This next case is for a really sweet customer, and she wanted a Kageyama and Hinata case, and she requested pink and blue pieces, so that's what I picked out, and I think it turned out really cute, like a pastel kind of theme. This next case is for another returning customer from the UK, and she requested an Oikawa case with mint pieces to match his uniform. So that's what I made, and I think it turned out really cute and pretty. This case is for a returning customer from Switzerland, and she's always very sweet, and she she's ordered uh, the Sweet Dreams Ray and Nagisa case, and now she just ordered the sugar-free free <laughs> Ray case, and I think it turned out really pretty. So yes. This next case is for a returning customer, and I think she bought this for someone, but it is a Yato case, and she wanted, I think it's for a boy, so she wanted like not too many girly pieces, so I picked out, you know, black and bats and moons and things that, you know, could be for a boy, so yeah, I think it turned out really cool. Yato! So that's it for now, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I will see you in my next update. Hi everyone, so this is part two to the Decadent Case update. This first case is a Sweet Dreams Kagami Crocono Basket case and this customer is from France and she's so cute because she's the reason why I got these cases in because she said Kagami was her favorite and she wanted like a Sweet Dreams case in honor of him. I thought that was so cute so I was able to stock these up. I don't know if you watched my past video but I was able to stock them up and I made her this case and she said she really liked it so I can't wait to ship it to her. I think it's always cool to be able to make a case for someone in another country. This next case is a cotton candy King Kageyama case. And the customer is really sweet. She follows me on Instagram. And she was very happy, I think, with the outcome. And I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cool. I love anything like cotton candy themed. So I'm always happy when customers want like cool colors like that. But yeah, I think it turned out really cool and really pretty. And I made like cotton candy resin pieces just for her. So yeah, and then she wanted angel wings. That's so cute. So yes. This next case is for a very awesome returning customer for Iwatobi Trash on Instagram. And she wanted, oh my gosh, okay, so Ruki is my favorite vampire, but these two are my next favorites. And when she requested both of them on a case, I was like all excited. I'm like, yes. And my first thought was, I was like, I hope she gets asked for a pastel purple whip like I was it was just in my thoughts I was like man that would look really cool with these characters and I love that color and I didn't say anything to her and she requested a pastel purple whip and I was like yes I was so excited to make this case because I was like yes I was hoping she'd pick those colors that color and then she asked for like dark blue stars and I made them really dark and then dark purple stars and then she wanted the black moon, the black cross, and then the black coffin. And it was so cute because she said she wanted to add a little candy piece because Kanato likes sweets. So, yes, I was so excited. And, oh my gosh, I love Azusa. I think he's so attractive. So, yes, I think this is just so awesome. I'm, I'm like, in love with this case. I can't wait for her to get it. So, yes. <laughs> This next case is for a really sweet uh, returning customer. She had ordered an Urza, well, it's for uh, a customer's daughter. 
but uh, the girl had got an uh, Urza and Grey case for me before. So she requested this Kageyama and Suki case, and she requested Black Whip with a pastel theme, and she asked for the angel wings for both of them, which is adorable because they're both grumpy. And then she asked for a cute piece and a pastel moon, and then I picked out the rest of the items, and I think it looks really pretty. And yeah, this is one of my favorite cases. I actually made it my, like, Tumblr mobile app background, like my little screen at the top, because I thought it turned out really cool, and I really like it. And I can't wait for them to get the case with well, the mom and daughter. I can't wait for the daughter to get it, too. So, yes. This next case is a shot in the dark for me, because I'm thinking it's a parent who bought it for a child, and, you know, the child can't get on the Etsy. At least that's what I'm assuming because I've tried to contact them several times and I didn't hear anything back. So everything on here, all the pieces and everything, I completely picked out myself. I had a different design that I emailed to them, but I didn't hear back from them and I was like, I better not do something different from what I usually make the high Q cases because my normal high Q cases are like pastel. So I just want ahead because my other theme was like matching his uniform and it was like black and green colors but I went ahead and just went with pastel colors because that's what my high Q cases normally look like and since I didn't get any contact I'm just shipping them this off to them without them you know acknowledging it or anything so I went ahead and used these colors so I hope whoever is getting it likes it this ghost shopper but yeah I thought this was really cool because I added like whip and then I added the star over the moon and I just think it looks like yummy I don't know why but yeah and then I added a little bunny jewel bunny and a resin piece and I think it looks pretty if they don't like it they can ship it back and I'll put it in my shop <laughs> so yeah this last item is a mirror and it's available in my Etsy shop and it's a cotton candy Aaron Yeager mirror and it's so cute oh my gosh yes so oh my gosh Aaron Yeager is just so adorable he's so angry so yeah so this is available in my Etsy shop right now and I will place a link down below in the description box if you want to order a case from me or if you want to uh, order a mirror. <laughs> I have those too. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you want to follow my Instagram, it is Meg Loves Cute. I post decadent cases I make and drawings and other fun things. And then also my Twitter is Meg Loves Cute where I post decadent cases, drawings I make, and silly thoughts. And then also, if you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, I post at least two to three times a week. And like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Or I guess they call it, give it a thumbs up here. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!